Tonight, loved ones are mourning the loss of this beloved PE teacher. Sierra McKeon was on her way into school yesterday when she was hit by an SUV in Anclote High School's parking lot. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Chloe was at Tampa General Hospital where she passed away today. She spoke to Sierra's family who shares with us the legacy this 28 year old leaves behind. Well, it's here at Tampa General Hospital where Sierra's loved ones said goodbye today. Her dad telling me that she died from a brain injury. And I had the chance to speak with some of her loved ones who tell me about the tremendous impact she's had on so many lives. You matter. You love her. Stephen Wagner considers himself lucky to have coached Ciara McKeon at SUNY Brockport. She just pulled so many people together. From Long Island, but was living here in Florida, Wagner said she had a way of connecting people. She had her own gravitational pull. On and off the field, Ciara was the kind of girl who made you smile. You can't help but meet that kid and fall in love with her. Her teammates couldn't agree more. If Ciara was in your life, she was basically like your family. Courtney Sesniak and Ciara played lacrosse together at SUNY Brockport. She has contagious energy and genuine love for the people in her life. She's just amazing. Love is what Ciara did best. She brought it with her to Anclote High, where she taught gym and coached tennis. No matter where she goes or what she does, she makes an impact. She touches your life in ways you didn't even know existed. The girls on the Anclote tennis team truly loved Coach McKeon. I'm not surprised when I hear the great things from her school about her, saying that she's the favorite teacher because she's honestly like everyone's favorite something. Today, Ciara's dad told me, quote, she went to heaven, dying from a brain injury. This after she was hit by an SUV in the parking lot at Anclote High. It's so tragic to hear that happened to someone who's so amazing. Ciara was a happy girl, and those who love her know she wouldn't want them to be sad. I know to honor Ciara, it's not with sadness, it's with fun. Which is why they'll celebrate her and her love for life. Hug the ones around you, love the ones around you, because that's what she would want too. Ciara's dad told me that will be donating her organs and tomorrow here at Tampa General Hospital there will be a ceremony in her honor.